Hey everyone, today I am going to show you a um, decorative flower made out of tulle that you can use for really just anything that you want to decorate something up with. Um, weddings, birthday parties, if you want to make decorations for things around your home. I did this in burlap actually and added it to a picture frame that um, had like a rope edging kind of thing going on. and used that for a picture of my husband and I from our honeymoon that it came out really cute and I actually was able to hide someone who was right in the background that we didn't realize at the time with the, the big old flower that I made so these are really easy to make simple flowers very cute I'm gonna go sparkly today but this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need tool of any color any style or fabric actually um, so you can use tool fabric I used burlap before I've used the fabric itself and this one is going to be tulle. So this one's just like a pink glittery tulle. I'm going to use purple and peach. You're going to need scissors. Make sure they're good scissors that are going to cut the tulle easily. Don't use your best, especially not fabric scissors because the glitter in this will probably dull those down. Uh, let's see. You can use a protractor. It's optional. I used it just to make my flower petals a little bit more even. Um, it doesn't have to be used. I mean, to me, it just came out better because I don't have very good drawing skills, even with the simple curve. You also need a button. Some kind of sparkle for the center. It doesn't have to be this, but just something for the middle. This one I'm going to use is just a simple sparkle piece. Oh, and a rubber band. Which I completely forgot about the house in here. Just some simple little rubber bands. Cheap little things. You can get like a billion in a pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Which is, by the way, I think where this tool is from. Either Dollar Tree or Casey Dollar. I know I didn't spend a lot on it. And to begin, Make this easy. You're going to need to stack squares of tool. Now you can go ahead and just cut up a bunch of squares one by one and stack them and all of that fun stuff. I don't have the patience for that. So what I'm gonna do is take my two colors that I'm using together, overlay them together so that way I can get a nice little peach purple, peach purple effect on the final flower. Now the quickest way to get your squares is going to be to use a form. For me, I'm just going to use this old Nintendo DS video game thing. And what you're going to do, get this over here. Okay, you're going to Take the line, the edge of the two overlapping pieces of tool, lay it over the game, and just flip the game over as many times as you want. Um, remember, the thicker the, or the uh, more times you do the flipping, the rotating, the thicker the flower is going to be. I'm gonna take this offline so it's easier for me to do this, but just uh, make sure if you're gonna make a bunch of these, you keep track of how many times you do the, um, the spooling part, this part of it where you're flipping the, the case over itself. And you can use any kind of form. It doesn't have to be this. I just use this because this was available at the time when I first decided to start doing these. I think I'm on four flips. I think this is five. So here we are. All my wrapped around. And you're just going to cut off as close to the edge as you can. Okay, so now you've got your form wrapped up in the tool. Next, you're going to take your scissors, go up the spine of the DVD case, and just cut the tool. Don't worry if it's crooked or ragged, you're going to cut that off anyways. You just want to be able to cut the squares apart. 
do the same on the other side. And the scissors are just fine. to do one by one measuring and counting and all that. That's stick tool. And if you want, you can take out like this, these short bits from the middle. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your tool, it doesn't have to be perfectly stacked. Like I said, you're gonna be chopping off those edges. Fold it in half and then fold it in half again and it doesn't matter which way you do it and then that piece that fold and bleh, sorry fold in half again <laughs> like that you're gonna have like a triangle shape now you can freehand it and just curve off like that you can use your protractor hold it at the corner down here and use your pencil to draw out your curve of the pedal either way is fine today i'm just gonna freehand it Start off at the shorter edge down here and just cut in a curve. The deeper the curve, the more accentuated your petal will be. The lighter the curve, the less. And either way is fine. Make it however you want. See? Just a little like cone shape. Now, if you want to do shabby chic, this is the point where you would actually rub the edges of, I'm just trimming up, the, rub the edges against maybe a pair of jeans or something, just some kind of rough surface. If you have some burlap, rub it against that just to rub up the edges. Okay, and you can see I chopped off a lot. You can leave it however you want. Okay, and you can see that's two petals right here. So if you do the imaginary line here, this is one petal, this is another petal. See what's not that noticeable? So I'm gonna go back in and cut the curve down more into the sides, down in here. Now you're not gonna catch every single layer that's okay. Again, if you want, you can rough up the edges just by like rubbing it against your hand or against some denim or something. See how it's still not quite as deep, but on this side it is. That's what you want. Open it up. Now you have your layers of flour. Now, what I like to do is separate them and kind of catty corner them. You can just leave it at this if you want, but I'm going to change mine up a little. So I'm taking all the layers apart. Okay, here's a peach. Here's a pink or a purple, and I'm just going to lay it so that it's not exactly aligned with the other petals. Try and at least get them all stacked evenly because that will make a difference in the final product if it's not. is the final product not final product but the um the stacking and just like i said as even as you can on the stack then you're going to take your button now you need to pick which side you want do you want the white side up the peach or the purple i like the purple so i'm gonna put that side up this is going to be the top of the flower so you're gonna take your button put it in the middle wrap the rest
rest of the flower petals around that. Flip it over, try and make it as even as you can. You can tell, just look at it sideways, make sure everything's the way you want it to be. And now you're gonna take your rubber band, wrap it around that button, and make it as tight as you can. The tighter you can get it, the better. You can use clear, it doesn't have to be black or any other color. You're not really going to see it. And now you've got your flower. It's okay if you can see the button through it. You're going to cover that up anyways. Just, I'm going to fluff up a little bit. Here's the flower fluffed. There's the center. You can see the button through there. Again, that's fine. You're going to cover it. And if you don't want a center in the middle, like a sparkle or flower, then definitely you're going to want to cover that button. But for me, I'm okay with it. So now, I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and put that in the middle, which again, this thing is clogged up. It's annoying. flower with a crystal and that's what it looks like on the back you can glue a hair clip piece to this um, glue it onto a picture frame whatever you want like I did because you've got this flat back which is a perfect surface for you and you've got a cute little flower and like I said you can always rough up the edges to make it just a little bit more Poofy, fluffy, kind of shabby, chic looking. But there you go. It's very cute. Very easy to make. Very inexpensive to make, especially if you want to do them in bulk. And that's it. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I... And thanks for watching.